Hello again everybody, this is Amergan and you're very welcome to this Halloween edition of Star Trek Fleet Command where we've got a monthly Trek or Treat Alliance event guys, we'll come back to that in a wee moment. We have patch 8.1 notes and we're going to crack on and go through those. <laughs> So guys, we're going to jump into our little view screen and look at the patch notes 8.1. Um, we also have a Halloween sweepstakes, a little bit more gambling from Scopely, getting us to tapping into our gambling uh, instincts there and to take a chance and try to win uh, 300 Ultra Recruit tokens. I've done that one there already, guys. Uh, you have to give them access to your Twitter account and stuff like that there. Um, I don't know if it's worth your Ultra Recruit tokens, but uh, make your own call on that. We're going to jump on just to the patch notes um, 8.1 here guys the first thing on the list officer jackpot animations now it was always a thing that you could possibly unlock a full set of officer shards from a chest uh, doesn't happen very often it's been known to happen I've seen it happen but it doesn't happen very often uh, now we're just going to get a little bit of an animation to highlight when that happens because it's something that could have dropped under the radar you might notice it happening in a hurry you could be going back afterwards going when did I get this full set of officer shards? When did I unlock this officer? Probably if that's happened to you guys, it's because this uh, this this thing has happened here that we're now going to get an animation for, and uh, you just didn't notice it. So uh, something quite simple, uh, cosmetic, nothing too amazing in it. This is the one I was looking forward to. Mines now instantly refresh after depleting and leaving the node. So essentially, guys, you just go off the node, go back on it, and it should refresh. This whole carry-on of going into Galaxy View and then coming out and going back into it and all of that there. Nightmare stuff. It used to always cause a load of hassle. This is very, very welcome here. Um, move on to improvement in Galaxy Map Info. The developer comments is saying that when you're in Galaxy View, players can toggle between seeing the system system name uh, or seeing the resources contained within that system and uh, that allows you to navigate the galaxy and find the system that contains the desired resources so uh, that's very very good as well and um, not something I've heard an awful lot of calls for but um, a quality of life improvement that will definitely help when it comes to hunting down the resource that you want to mine and that kind of thing and um, an improvement to view a bundle contents so it's saying to help prevent accidental purchases uh, allow you to see what's inside of, uh, the bundle should been in a long long time ago i'm pretty sure there was money made of accidental purchases but we'll skip on past that one if you're free to play that's not going to interest you um but maybe you'd like to view it uh, you wouldn't want to be spending if that's the case uh, by accident uh, a new battle log feature it's saying that you can now see who attacked in the battle reports uh, it's fixed an issue with the in-game notifications getting stuck on the screen. About bloody time with that one. Fixed an issue where it happened to locate button while in Galaxy View will not redirect the user to the player's position in the view, in the system view. Uh, fixed an issue where the mines appear invisible after briefly losing internet connection. Fair enough. Uh, fixed an issue where the Alliance help request would stop appearing after a while. Okay. And fixed an issue where the attack button is disabled in full scan UI. And again, feedback always welcome. So not the biggest patch in the world. Uh, the most important thing there is the refreshing mines. That's the that's the most welcome part of it, and a nice uh, bonus um, uh, improvement there in terms of being able to view what resources are in a system when you're viewing it. So a couple of other things there. We mentioned the st sweepstakes there, guys. Um, I'm going to click on this link just briefly, just to give you a wee look at what it means. It'll take you into this uh, Gleam.io. Uh, looks like a scam to me. Over over uh, 5,400 5, entries. I've entered twice. I looked at the uh, YouTube channel and I went on to Twitter. I don't know if that's a, a security uh, issue or not, letting them access it. If <laughs> if by connecting to that uh, I get hacked or whatever, well, sure, we'll, we, we'll deal with that um, when the time comes. Um, so there's what it looks like, guys. If you have Facebook or Instagram, you can enter it again, I suppose. Uh, it's only going to give you 300 of these old shard things so uh, not that bother bothered about it um now if i can get out of this uh let's see 
So a bunch of other things notified there, quite a list there within the little view screen inside your station gate. The Halloween sweepstakes we've looked at, there's a couple of uh, Armadas ones that I'm going to ignore guys because uh, this rare Armadas is yet another cash grab. It's very, very evident, paywall kind of stuff, very, very difficult to participate in that unless you've got friends that are spending money or you're willing to spend money. So we're going to skip over that one. Uh, we're looking at the special weekly Trek or Treat event. Uh, you can safely say from looking at it, uh, the best thing about this event, we'll take, we'll, we'll take a wee look now in a wee second, you guys leave your comments below if you disagree with any of this here, but um, safe to say the best thing about this is the play on words, the trick or treat, nice little animation there of the, the Klingon ships going past the, the moon and all of that there, we're doing fourth in this, we're not putting on a push with this by, by any means, and we get we get uh, points in this guise by uh, getting shards for these officers, so uh, those four officers get you five points and uh, those rare officers, uh, those six rare officers get you ten points each if you obtain shards for those and uh, you can of course go and grind this, this is the second best thing about this is you can go out into a really low level system guys and grind like an absolute lunatic and maybe potentially rank within the rewards here leave your comments below guys let me know if you've been out grinding like a lunatic and if you've managed to rank within these reward um, um, leaderboards um, 26 to 50 there is a, is the bottom rung of that ladder um, there, there have been ones that go up to a hundred places that would be more make more sense that would be more welcome to see see events uh, leaderboard events going up to uh, allow you to top 100 uh, 50 to 100 but in this case it's 26 to 50 it's better than nothing I suppose um, jump into this uh, we'll take a wee look just briefly, uh, we're in fourth place. Like I suppose, if the alliance put out the call and said, you know, uh, we want to top this, I, I guess we would be. But you can see no huge effort going in by any of us. That's really just from grinding hostiles, guys, for doing dailies, and uh, no big effort. Uh, currently, the the prizes where it's an offer for us where we're ranked at the moment, uh, two hundred alliance credits, like junk really it's all right for, i suppose for doing your dailies and that being in a strong alliance but not something you'd be you'd be busting yourself to do um let's see top rewards there slightly better bit of rare there but again shabby shabby rewards for for a shabby event guys um a lot of criticisms out there typical scopely money grabbers one eye on the dollar signs hijacking things like halloween and christmas and all just to make a quick buck um stealing the pennies from people if they can by throwing up junk in front of them and trying to attract them um, there's, when you see such shabby rewards and such shabby events here um, it, I'd be inclined to agree that those people are onto something, we've seen this kind of event before, there are packs for sale here which to me this is insulting to me it's insulting to put up uh, these events and start talking about get yourself stuck into our matters, get do this do that there and then there's you have to part with your cash to, to be able to do it so uh, for all you privileged people that are, that are out there and spending loads of money work away guys buy all of these uh, buy all these items if you wish uh, it's not for me i'll pass on that um i'm not fool enough to put my hand in my pocket and part with that kind of money when the rewards for participating in these events are just absolute and utter junk but that's my feelings on it if you disagree guys leave your comments below come in the discord and we'll thrash it out even further um so that's my halloween video that's the halloween event and um, nothing wild or spectacular i'm uh, i'm way off to eat a load of junk food here and uh, polish off what the kids didn't get while they were trick or treating and uh, I'm going to leave all of you guys with a safety message for Halloween um, sit back and listen to this guys pay attention to it and have a very very safe and satisfying Halloween period and I'll catch up with all of you guys again very very shortly cheers how is Fester and Aileen here welcome to our home will you just have a cup of tea with us will you Huh? We love Halloween, don't we, Aileen? Oh yes, I almost forgot. Poor Aileen had a bit of an incident one Halloween. It's something we're all guilty of. Mishandling fireworks. Oh, sure, the surgeon did the best they could. Went in too deep, though. They say it could ignite at any time. So we'll leave you with this song. Enjoy your Halloween, and remember, safety first. All Hallows Eve's upon us, the witching hour once more. Bonfires are a-burning, kids knocking on the door. Throwing hedgehogs on the bonfire and dressing up is lots of fun. 
Never stick a foreign object up your bum. No, you should never shove a banger up your arse and have a wee. It's not clever, it's not funny, some think it's quite obscene. You should never shove a banger up your arse and have a wee. Cause you'll only blow your hole to smithereens. Trigger treating, pumpkin eating, scary witch's cat. Better give us money, missus, or we'll dump on your doormat. Bobbin' apples, shagging cows, there's games for old and young. But don't stick a fern object up your bum all together. No, you should never shove a banger up your arse in Halloween. It's not clever, it's not funny, some think it's quite obscene. You should never shove a banger up your arse in Halloween. Cause you'll only blow your hole to smithereens. Your arse on Halloween It's not clever, it's not funny Some think it's quite obscene You should never shove a banger Up your arse on Halloween Cause you'll only blow your hole To smithereen <laughs> Happy Halloween